Assalamualaikum dear viewers hope you are doing well i am shubham madayo again here with an informative video related to the electrical machines and the matlab simulation dear viewers today we are going to perform the voltage regulation of the transformer experiment on the matlab software before doing this experiments let's discuss some few points regarding the voltage regulation of the transformer the voltage regulation can be defined as the percentage change in the transformer secondary voltage from the no load to the full load or uh, it is the arithmetic difference of the secondary voltage at the no load and the secondary voltage at the load so can be expressed as the percentage voltage regulation it describes the ability of the transformer to provide the constant voltage from the no load to the full load when current flows through the transformer windings the whole drop is takes place due to the reactance and the resistance of the transformer this is the voltage difference of the no load to the full load condition the better regulation of the transformer so this was the brief introduction of the voltage regulation of the transformer now our dear viewers without wasting time let's do the matlab simulation of the voltage regulation of the transformer dear viewers our main task is to measure the voltage regulation in a transformer so voltage regulation can be defined as it is the arithmetic difference between the no load secondary voltage and the secondary voltage v2 on load so that will be expressed as the percentage of the no load so for this uh, voltage regulation experiment first we need to find out the secondary voltage at the no load and after that we need to find out the secondary voltage at the load so go to the matlab okay and take the blank model go to the power liv now we need the ac voltage source okay and we need the transformer okay we need the current measurement block we need the voltage measurement block okay also we need the ground also we need the display also we need the rms block okay now assemble the circuit as per the circuit diagram make it two winding transformer apply okay now connect this ammeter with the primary winding of the transformer okay so the voltage source is connected with the primary winding of the transformer now we need another display we need another rms block now this display would give us the value of the primary current okay now connect this voltmeter in parallel across this primary winding of the transformer this would give us the primary voltage okay now this display would give us the primary voltage okay now our first objective is to measure the secondary voltage at the no load condition okay now connect the voltmeter in parallel across the secondary winding of the transformer now this is the secondary winding connect this voltmeter in parallel across this secondary winding of the transformer okay so this voltmeter uh, would give us the value of the no load secondary voltage 
no load secondary voltage okay now change the parameters as per the circuit diagram winding one is the 11 thousand volts 11 e power 3 and winding 2 440 volts okay apply okay and we are giving then e power 3 to the primary winding of the transformer and make it frequency 50 hertz and change the frequency of each rms block make it 50 hertz 50 hertz and 50 hertz okay now this transformer is the step down transformer its primary winding is 11000 volts secondary winding would give us the 440 volts and normally it is a step down transformer okay so now this circuit would give us the no load secondary voltage in the voltage regulation of the transformer so now our second objective is to measure the secondary voltage at the load heat condition of the transformer so connect the load across the secondary terminals of the transformer okay so now make it rl okay now also we need to find out the current on the secondary side of the transformer so which will give us the load current so again we need another rms and the display block okay so connect this uh, ammeter in series with this load so this would give us the load current of the transformer on the secondary side okay now this display would give us the secondary current okay and now connect this voltmeter in parallel across this load so this would give us the secondary voltage at the load which is another requirement of the voltage regulation of transformer secondary voltage at load okay so now this voltmeter which is connected in parallel across the load will give us the secondary voltage at the load so now if we want to measure the power factor at the load side so design a power factor measurement block on the MATLAB so we need the components required for the power factor measurement block so take an RMS block okay then we need another RMS block we need uh, the active and the reactive power module we need product block we need gain block we need divide block okay also we need the multiplexer block okay this is the irms okay and this is the vrms okay now give these irms and vrms inputs to the apparent power block okay connect this with the current block and connect this with the voltage and give the inputs of the vrms and the irms to the product block now also connect this power block connect this v with the v and connect this i with the i okay now connect this multiplexer now this would give us the active power this would give us the reactive power okay now we need the divider block now this divider block from the output of this divider block we will obtain the power factor 
so power factor is the ratio of the active power over a parent power so v i cosine of x is the active power divided by v i is the apparent power that would give us the power factor okay now connect the output of this multiplexer with the product block now apparent power is connect with the divider block now this output would give us the power factor now this is the gain block okay now this gain block convert the value of the power angle into radian into the degree value okay for conversion from the radian into the degree so 180 by pi is the formula okay now we need another display we need the trigonometric function this now a cosine of phi make it and signal type real okay from this output of this divider block this would give us the power factor this would give us the power factor okay now this would give us the angle of the power factor angle of power factor and now this angle is in the radian form so this gain block will convert this radian value into the degree value so from the output of this gain block we will get the power angle in the degree value power angle okay this would give us the power factor and this would give us the power angle change the frequency of each rms block make it 50 hertz make it 50 hertz and make it 50 hertz change the frequency of the power block make it 50 hertz okay now check the parameters of the transformer under the loaded condition so now load is 100 and one henry inductance okay and our transformer this is the hv winding voltage this is the lv winding voltage and we are giving the 11000 volts to the primary winding of the transformer okay now this circuit would give us the loaded secondary voltage okay now this block would give us the result of the power factor so now our circuits are ready for the simulation first we have to measure the secondary voltage at the no load so this circuit would give us the secondary voltage at the no load so run the simulation now this is the secondary voltage at the no load because we have connected the voltmeter in parallel across the secondary windings of the transformer now the no load secondary voltage is 311.1 volts okay so this is the rms secondary voltage of the 450, 440 volts which is the secondary voltage of the transformer and this is the rms voltage of the primary voltage okay uh, now this circuit uh, would give us the loaded secondary voltage means secondary voltage at the full load okay so run the simulation observe the secondary voltage now here the secondary voltage under the loaded condition is 305.6 volts and also the power factor of the load is 0 0.30 okay and the primary current in this case is 0 0.03 ampere and this is the rms voltage of the primary voltage and this is the secondary current uh, which is the load current 0 0.92 now our objective is to calculate the voltage regulation of the transformer now we have a uh, the value of the no load voltage is the 311.1 volts. Now we have a value of the secondary voltage under the loaded condition which is the 305.6 volts. Now put these value in the formula. So this is the calculation regarding the voltage regulation. Now this is the formula uh, secondary voltage at the no load minus secondary voltage at the full load. Okay. Now our secondary voltage at the no load is 311.1 volts and secondary voltage at the full load is 305.6. Now put these values. 
now we are getting the 1.76 percentage is the voltage regulation of the transformer okay so this was the experiment of the uh, voltage regulation of the transformer that we have done on the matlab software hey viewers this was the experiment regarding the voltage regulation of the transformer that we have done on the matlab software in which we have observed the results of the secondary voltage of the transformer at the no load and at the loaded condition so i hope that you have enjoyed the today's experiment and at the last do subscribe my youtube channel shoeb ahmed for more informative videos related to the electrical engineering area thank you